What's up, fight fans, movie goers, Jedi's and Sith, and of course, hip hop fans. Listen, we got a problem. The problem is we we just might see Nick Cannon buried, son. Now it's a figure of speech, by the way. We go, we're going to see the return of Thanos, aka Eminem, aka Marshall Mathers. My man is going to come on. I mean, this is a beef that's been going on with Nick Cannon and fucking Eminem. And finally, Nick Cannon has said something and put on some battle rappers, uh, Charlie Clips and another gentleman. And Nick Cannon needed help. And now he's all over, you know, Twitter saying he needs to hurry up and answer him back. And, you know, Eminem, that is. And listen... Even with the battle rappers, that track was fucking whack. But since you guys want the fucking smoke, you guys are going to get enough carbon monoxide to poison you and your whole fucking camp. And I think Wild and Out is going to shut down afterwards, bro. You know what I mean? The number one cardinal sin that rappers tend to do is mention fucking Eminem's kids. And this was done. This was his stepdaughter was mentioned. Then the other guys, uh, the one of the freestylers, because there were three other guys on the fucking track, uh, they 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 mentioned Kim and fucking her like this and uh, you know and and it's like it's just at a point. Regardless the relationship that Eminem has out of the music industry and his personal life with his wife or whatever, which he's put on wax, but you know I don't really care about that. You know that's that's for him to to figure out. That's for him to you know manage as a fan. I respect his music, his legacy. Eminem is the nicest, you know what I'm saying, for a couple of eras right now. There hasn't been motherfuckers up there like that. If you want to put Jay-Z up there like that, a man who bought his own motherfucking millions of albums in order to make the fucking charts, so you go ahead and do that. Eminem may have to do that. So, regardless, he's white. You know what I mean? Um, I'm still on the fuck Lord Jamal train, fuck Joe Budden train. Like, I'm still on that shit because these motherfuckers racist like motherfuckers and don't understand that hip-hop is multicultural, right? So... I just gotta say, man. I'm, I'm gonna say it, and I'm, you probably, you probably will hear me continue to say this line. But I'm gonna say it, and it's gonna start here on this video. And it's rest in peace, Nick Cannon, and the rest of you underground battle rappers. Yeah, you do this every day, and, but but you, you, you guys, most of you guys can't make records. And we all know this. I, I used to be a battle rapper myself. A lot of battle rappers can't make records. Eminem has to be all around. So you guys want to smoke with the goat, you're going to get the smoke with the goat. I'm going to tell you guys one thing right now. The rest of these uh, underground rappers and even Nick Cannon, you guys have been trying to be known. You guys were trying. You were almost there until you had to fuck with Eminem. So now Eminem is coming for you. Thanos is coming for you, bro. He's coming for you. I'm telling you, he's coming for you. And you guys better be prepared. Now, M, Mr. Mathers, Thanos, do your thing. I will be back keeping you updated. Okay? And so far, Eminem has answered on Twitter. And has told Nick Cannon why he's lying on my... Why are you lying on my dick? I never even had a chauffeur because in one of... Nick Cannon's line, he said that M, there's a video of Eminem sucking a dick and his chauffeur uh, had it on tape and he fired a chauffeur and Eminem was like, you lying on my dick, I never even had a chauffeur, you bitch ass nigga. And Eminem also told that he made his gardener jealous. I don't know this shit that Nick Cannon's wearing, this Mama Lucci hat looking like a fucking Madame Tussaud fucking fortune ball reader. You motherfuckers are weird, but it is what it is. Eminem, do your thing. God bless each and every one of y'all. Stay vigilant. I'm Jay Cotto, the Boxing Jedi. Peace.